Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Dr. Muhammad Usman, Professor of Physiology and today we are going to talk about dark and light adaptation. So let's begin. But before that please enjoy the rain music in background because right now it is raining here in Multan. So please enjoy. So dark adaptation means that when a person remains for some time in a very bright environment and then suddenly he moves to dark environment or dim light then his eyes gradually become able to see in the dark so this is called dark adaptation maximum adaptation occurs in about 20 minutes and some further adaptation occurs over longer periods now on the other hand when a person passes suddenly from a dark to brightly lit room or bright environment then initially the light seems intense and uncomfortably bright until the eyes adapt to the increased illumination so this adaptation occurs over a period of about 5 minutes and this is called light adaptation now dark adaptation response has two components first it occurs in the cones especially in the foveal region it occurs rapidly but it is small in magnitude after that this dark adaptation occurs in the peripheral portions of the retina in rods it occurs slowly but it is large in magnitude now let's discuss various mechanisms of adaptation number one mechanism is rebuild of the photochemical now we know that in bright light much of the photochemical it is broken down as you can see here and some time is required in the dark for rebuild of the photochemical when the person moves to the dim light now this is a slow and time taking process it takes about 20 minutes then the next mechanism is change in the size of the pupil we know that pupil size increases in the dark and decreases in the light so this can cause adaptation of approximately 30 times or 30 fold within a fraction of a second the third mechanism which is very important is neural adaptation and when the light intensity increases first the signals transmitted by bipolar cells horizontal cells amacrine cells and ganglion cells they are all intense then most of the signals they decrease rapidly at different stages of the transmission in the neural circuit so this neural adaptation also occurs in a fraction of second now let's see the practical examples of dark and light adaptation now do you know that the intensity of sunlight is about 10 billion times that of starlight yet we are able to see the both it is because our eyes can change their sensitivity to the light from 5 lakh times to 10 lakh times due to the well developed mechanisms of dark and light adaptation subhanallah alhamdulillah then uh, another example is that radiologists aircraft pilots and others who need maximum visual equity in dim light or dark environment they cannot wait for 20 minutes in the dark to become adopted so they wear red goggles when they are in bright light okay they wear red goggles when they wear red goggles in bright light basically they are using their rods to minimum level while cones are functioning normally because rods are stimulated least by the red light so in this way they conserve their rod option when working in the bright light when these people they go in the dark their rods take very little time to adopt to dark as they have already sufficient rod option stores thank you for watching today's video if you have understood this concept of light and dark adaptation please like share and subscribe to this channel 
हैप्पी लर्निंग स्टे ब्लेस्ड अल्लाह हाफिज़